Hey everybody, Common Villager here. Welcome back to OpenMW. We are here in the or uh, the Alt or Resin region in the mainland. We kind of got lost in last episode. To be truthful, we had kind of explored this area. I kind of wanted to go by. Amalexia and just show that off because it's one of my favorite sites in the mainland but we did kind of get uh, sidetracked really bad and basically went in circles I'm gonna check something here For some reason the, well, the music's down really far though so hopefully it's not too loud on the video I think the different tracks that I'm using have something to do with that. Well, in today's episode, we're going to continue our journey here with Kel Washai. I, I've got to get his name right. I, I he's a new companion. I haven't got. I'm not used to his name like I am with uh, Oka and Bardargo, who are currently taking a break in Balmora, having some. I guess you could just say some vacation time away from being my servant my little uh, guars for the most part <laughs> so let's see here I've been trying to go north let's see yeah I think we may head we might head in this direction and see what we find in today's episode we kind of got into some of the parts of the mainland that haven't been fully developed and completed. So today we're going to get started. See where the road takes us. See what goodies we might find. And if I can remember what keys to press, I might loot some alchemy ingredients along the way. Okay, nice. Very nice atmosphere. A little patch of uh, ash land right there but all the same we are taking a nice long journey through the mainland seeing what we might find maybe gather some new companions and try to somehow bring them back to Vardenfell with us we may have to do a lot of swimming but anyway We'll get to that bridge when it's time. Let's see here. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go this way. That's kind of in the direction I wanted to go. I may even, even though it's kind of far away, I may not get there today. But if there's no towns in this area, then I may try to either find my way back to Old Ebenhard or some, maybe we'll find some kind of town nearby where we can, uh, kind of get rid of some merchandise and things we don't really need and make a little gold in the process. There is a little town over here we could probably stop by real quick. Some kind of little village. Also there's some map markers. We might as well take the time to uh, check those out. Old Ebonheart that way. Okay. Then Amalexia Marilag. That might be that city we were at in last episode. That... Or no, I think Marilag might be over there actually. Oh, well, it looks like we just got some kind of little village. I doubt there's any traders here, but we'll stop anyway in case there's a trader here or something. Looks like they're cooking something on the stove. Can I actually access that? I can, but there's nothing in there. Huh. Okay. Hello, hello. You have no manners. Why would you say that about me? You don't even know me. Maybe it's the Argonian. Okay, fine. We're getting out of here. I, can, I don't have to put up with this. Alrighty. Yeah. We'll just leave him be. Let's go this way instead. We don't have to mess with that guy. So, lots of Conberry, which I'm really glad to be getting... How many conberries do I have now? Fourteen, not bad. I think I get I think I've given some of them to gosh, I can't remember his name. 
I'm just gonna start calling him Kel. There we go. Kel, that's it. That's his name. <laughs> just a nickname, right? Okay. Anyway, this way is supposed to take you back to Old Ebonheart, but it doesn't mean I'm headed that way. It's just the way I'm going to be going. Hmm. Okay. There's so much here. Is there anything kind of heavy I could maybe offload to uh, Kel here? Let's see. Let's see if he has anything he could hold on to. Yeah, he has a little bit of carry weight. He can uh, take that for sure. Just, uh, yeah, we'll give that to him. That's a pound and... Just, uh, ease the burden a little bit. I would give him my cookie knife, but last time I gave it to him, he started using it, and I didn't like that, so... You can't have my diving helmet because I'm either going to sell that or use it for my own good. Okay. Not using the Flynn right now. You can have that. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we probably won't capture any soul that's going to go into a common soul gem, so I may give him those. There we go. That's a little less burden on me and all that good stuff so let's continue got a building right here to our left hmm I want to pick those stone flower petals but it, I, I'm trying to resist because it's mainly stuff like Comberry and ingredients that I can't get on in Vardenfell, so... Ooh. Ooh, Comberries. I'm not going to steal from the farmers. They have quotas to make and everything. Tilmouth Manor. There's really no reason for me to stop here. I doubt there's a merchant. Although, to be fair, like... In places like Balmora and stuff, the great houses will usually have merchants in their facilities, but little manors like this, they usually don't. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, here's some road markers. Let's see. Okay, Old Ebonheart and Ildrum, huh? Hmm. Well, we know we've... We've definitely been to Old Ebonheart, but... Uh, hmm. Which way should I go? I have a feeling I need to go this way, so I'm going to go that way. We'll see where the road takes us. Keep out my staff, just in case any bad guys or critters want to give us a hard time I'll whack them upside the head. I will take some bitter green petals because I don't run into these all the time alrighty very good here's some more right here all that good bitter green goodness good for invisibility potions but I wonder if there's a cheaper counterpart besides diamond because I think Diamond is one of the counterparts that you can uh, mix with bitter green petals to make an invisibility potion. But any invisibility potion with the cheap, cheaper alchemy equipment I have, plus, well, I got good alchemy skill. Not bad, but it's just that with the cheaper equipment, the effect is not going to be as strong, so... Okay, there looks like a little village that way. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go here by this pond. I need to really get me a detect enchantment spell. I have a feeling something's over here, but I don't know what. I know there's a 
a Nick sound, but other than that, I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, well, here's a little bit of red lichen. Might as well take. You don't all the time run into this stuff. Some of it's way up there, so I'm not going to mess with it. Or try to get all of it. Okay. Just a second, I'm going to lower my headphone volume. It seems like that music gets so loud. Okay, there we go. I'm going to try just to lower down the music volume a little bit. Well, that's off, of course. Maybe about there. Hopefully it's still, you can still hear it enough and it not drowned out everything else because in my headphones it's like drowning everything out. I like music. Oh, this is Ildrum, I guess. Or is it? No. Uh, wait a minute here. Let's see. Oh, wait. I've kind of already been this way, haven't I? Well, let's go this way instead. I'm not going to go all the way back to that other side of the road. We'll find what other t whatever town we find along the way but other than that then no hmm whoa was there a nick sound nearby sounds like a big nick sound or something although I'm not really sure where it's coming from Kill it. Evil mud crab. Evil mud crab. Good. Up. Oh, infected. We'll leave that alone. We got a nick sound. I'm gonna get out one of my rings in case he wants to mess with us. Let's see. What's a good one? Nah, maybe nothing with a. Maybe this one. I'm just going on our merry way. Nick sound. Leave us alone. I guess as long as we don't get in his territory, we'll be fine. Let's just cross here. There we go. He's good. We're good. Everybody's good. I bet this feels right at home with you, don't you? You know, with being in the marshlands, right? You know, I wonder if you're actually from... Oh gosh, what is it? Where are the Argonians from again? I forgot the name of it. It's not marshlands, it's something else. The Great Marsh? Anyway, wasting time. Let's go. <laughs> you know, having a conversation, you know. Oh, some kind of Daedric run right there. I think it would be best if we left that alone as much as we can. I'd rather not deal with it if I didn't have to, because it's just me and uh, a pretty good pretty good strong guy but he's not that skilled because he's only level one so we might have more problems than we bargained for going there but another day for sure uh, got more evil mud crafts we'll just try to just make my way to the coast because that way we can kind of delve in here and there as we're traveling okay here's a shack right here out here in the middle of nowhere huh does anybody live here is this abandoned well, a derelict shack hmm hmm shack okay okay well Nobody's here, apparently. Cowardice of the enemy. Oh, nice. Okay, let's see. No valuables, I guess. 
Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's definitely a bit here. I'm going to... Uh, let's see, what time is it? It's only 2 p.m., though. We'll keep going. Not really much here. Well, a paper lantern, though. I like my paper lanterns. I'll take that. All right, awesome. Okay, yeah, we're almost to the coast. Hmm. Oh, this must have been their boat. Hmm. I could walk across. I don't know about him, but I'm going to try to walk across here. Okay, I am walking across, but I'm pretty sure he's going to have to swim. He's an Argonian. He's okay. Argonians take the waters pretty good. Alright. Very good. I'm going to keep this out. Wait, was that the one? Or was it the shocking... Was it a shocking touch one? Yeah, here it is. Come on. There we go. Oh, you probably needed a bath anyway, huh? So, you got two in one. I guess. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know if it's exactly two in one, but whatever. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I love exploring this place. It just really puts a new lease on life in Morrowind. Oh, we got a cave. Hello. This is a neat looking cave. I like the rock structure here and everything. Alright. Are you up for it? We need to get you some experience anyway. Okay, let's do it. Let's see here. Cave... Three. All right. Hmm. You watch my back, okay? I'm going in. Oh, really? I was not expecting this. <laughs> oh well. Uh. Yeah, that does pose a problem, doesn't it? Okay. Well, nothing to see here. <laughs> That's why I need a detect key spell in case there may be a key hidden here somewhere or maybe it's hidden somewhere else. Probably part of a quest, I wouldn't doubt. So, we'll just keep going. Alrighty. So we are finally on the coast here. The Sundered Seer region. It's cloudy. But, okay. He's going to have a problem with that, so we're going to have to swim. Oh, no, never mind. There you go. There you go. Oh, man. Did I have a... I think I had a problem with Oka and Badargo crossing the bridges. Maybe it was the... Whoa. I didn't even see you there. Let's see here. Cast some bolts at this thing. There we go. Kill it. There we go. There we go. Racer plumes. Let's just uh, cast this spell to make sure he's okay. Doing good. Very nice. Let's get out a. I want to keep these. Let's see here. Yeah, this is a good one. keep these nearby in case I need to use them because I usually end up getting a bunch of enchantments and not using them but since enchant is one of my skills I really need to be leveling it up as much as I can okay we have Ildrum this way oh okay so and then old Ebonheart so let's go this way I reckon uh, what do we got Oh, is this, uh... Yeah, I'll take some Rubrush. I don't see Rubrush just anywhere. Yeah, there we go. 
That was a big rubrush tree right there. <clears throat> I'm going to pause here and there because I was recording uh, Daggerfall Unity I think it was uh, Friday and for some reason my mic got muted so here and there I'll be pausing to check on that okay everything's good I don't know what I did when I recorded that but it was like a, a portion of a small portion not like a great portion not like the whole video or half the video but about probably a fourth of it at least was uh, <laughs> missing mic audio and I was talking the whole time too but anyway you're always gonna have problems like that here and there I don't know if I have a hotkey set to mute my mic sometimes like when I beat video games and I let the credits roll at the end of the video game a lot of times I'd have to do it manually on OBS but I set a hotkey so whenever I get to that point in a video game I can just use my hotkey so it makes me wonder if I might have accidentally use my hotkey somehow while playing Daggerfall that would not surprise me let's check this stump just in case there's any goodies in it and no goodies this time okay it's 5 p.m. it's getting dark maybe we can find us a spot somewhere to camp there is a village that way I guess we could uh it would be nice if there's a place where we could actually rent room but a fishing village you're probably not gonna have that luxury but we're gonna stop there anyway maybe there's some traders there that we could uh, trade with do some bartering kind of lighten the load a little bit we got some more some marshmallow and stuff but I've picked quite a bit of that when we went to the grazelands with Oka and Badargo so I really don't need any more of that right now okay Oh, hello. I'm going to grab some of these. You don't normally see bitter green petals in abundance like this, but I'm going to take advantage of it for sure. When we get back, we're going to have to spend some time doing alchemy. I want to get my alchemy skill to 50, and maybe we can raise our rank up to, uh, what is it, in the Mages Guild... We need a rank, a skill at 50 and two skills at 15. And then we'll be granted the rank of Magician. I don't... Yeah, I think it's the rank of Wizard where you have to have a Wizard staff, but we're not there yet. Anyway, Magician... Having the rank of Magician will be really beneficial to us because... Not only... I mean, we'll be getting closer to... Uh, you know having a definitely better disposition I don't, I don't know I'm just the more we rise up in rank the more people like you in the guild it's the basic idea behind it be nice if there was a place you could stay a pub with a bed or something but I'm not sure if we're gonna find that here I'm gonna say in most cases we won't Speak quickly, Outlander, but it way. does look like we have some traders here Oh, you sell alchemical stuff? So what do you want? Hmm, what do you have is the question. Tuvil's Windblade, huh. Cast Sanctuary, huh? That's something. Huh, okay. Whoa, you... <laughs> oh, <laughs> ooh, really? Oh, wow. Hmm. This gives me an idea. This gives me an idea. Ooh. Kind of pricey, but we got the gold for it. Ooh. Oh. Oh, man. We may go back to that cave anyway. 
Yeah. I don't know what we're going to find there, but we may go back to that cave. Just, cause, I don't know, it may not be... Well, yeah, we might. I what mean... Makes this smell? Probably you. Anyway, let's visit the other traders. Welcome out there. Huh, got drag stuff, huh? Just for you today. Oh, very nice, very nice. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Well, uh, what do I have that I can give you? Thought I had some stuff. Let's see what uh, Kel has. Come over here, Kel. See if we can get you to get a little closer over here. Well, yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's get some loot off of Kel here. Like these netch leather thingies. We'll sell those. Well, actually, no. We'll sell those. And what else? Well, we'll see what we get for those. I don't know how much gold this person has anyway. They may not have very much. Yeah, only 340, so... Oh, their mercantile's pretty high, so we may have to throw everything in. Seller max. There we go. Really? Man. Okay, then. Uh, well, whatever. That's fine. I see. I see. I forget I have that. No, pushover merchants mod. Let's see. We've got a... Oh. Can we actually rent a room here? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Say your name. Can you ask your question quickly? Which one of you is the publican? Oh, yeah, you're the cook. Sorry. Oh, beds. Yes, I'll take a bed. Okay, nice. We have a bed here. Okay, cool. Okay. The bed is yours. Enjoy your stay. Uh, I guess it's down the trap door, right? Anyway. What do you have? Hmm. Okay. Anything I want to sell? Let me just take a look here. Okay. Not going to get much for that, but... Ah, it's a little extra gold in my pocket, whatever. I'll sell that one. What else here? Well, it's probably a rip-off, but that's a little more gold. Why not? Okay, cool. I guess we go down here. Oh, what is going on? Oh, my game crashed. Give me just a sec. Okay, well... I'm, I don't know if I ended up selling anything to anybody else or not, but uh, I just went ahead and came over here. We're just going to rent the bed for now. And hopefully the game won't crash, which was kind of weird because it's OpenMW. It usually doesn't crash. But, oh. Hopefully the room's not down here, is it? Wellings. Is this the bed? Wait, there is no bed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, here's the bed. Okay. Well, a little privacy here. I guess I'll sleep here. Underground. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll just sleep for about 12 hours and take some time to heal up a little bit. Huh. Fortify health. Huh. I'm good. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm really... Did we actually save? Did I actually buy that scroll is the question. 
I mean, I did, but then my game crashed. I don't know if I saved. Yeah, I, I got the still got the scroll. So let's at least head back there. We may not don't be able. Your luck. You're on your honor. Well, we'll get there, and maybe next episode we'll see what's behind that door. How about that? We'll do that because we are. I'm it is. Uh, We have spent quite a bit of time in this episode, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Now, where was that cave? Let's go this way. Oh, I see, I see. This is the road. It may be a waste of a, a lock splitter uh, scroll, but there's not very many locks that you could really use it on anyway so I don't find it to be a waste even though it might be a waste it may be that uh, we may be on in over our heads I may not even use the scroll until we actually save the game but let's go over there at least for now and will be prepared to see what happens next. Oh, these are... Oh, golden sedges. What do these do? Fortify attack. Fortify strength. Oh, really? Huh. These are mainland ingredients, but uh, not, I mean, uh, tribunal ingredients. I'm going to take some of these with me. Alright. Anyway. We're at least uh, getting to the part where we're starting to see more things like actual part of the mainland that's actually developed and everything. So... That's why I, I'm kind of anxious to see what's behind this Daedric ruined door. What surprises me be inside. Okay, okay, I think I... Yeah, let's see. Where was that cave? Okay, we went across the bridge. I do remember that. There's that dead cliff racer. Very good. Kel's still following me. And there's the cave up there. So anyway, let's get up here. Alrighty. Really doubt there's going to be a key here by the door, but just in case, I'll take a look around. doesn't look like it. I'm sure that it's either part of a quest or not, but since I don't know what quest line or anything, we'll just have to go with it. Anyway, man, that music seems to be getting louder and louder. Oh. For some reason it went back up again. I don't know why that was, but anyway, we will uh, see what's behind the door in next episode, see what surprises awaits us inside. Anyway, thank you all for joining me in this episode of Open MW. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Anyway, y'all, I hope you have a good one. Take care out there, and I hope to see you all in the next video.